Hi everyone, welcome to Leetcode Programming. In this video, let's solve the problem count good meals together. So let's check out the problem description. A good meal is a meal that contains exactly two different food items with a sum of deliciousness equal to a power of two. You can pick any two different foods to make a good meal. So given an array of integers deliciousness where deliciousness of i is the deliciousness is the deliciousness of the ith item of food return the number of different good meals you can make from this list modulo 10 power 9 plus 7 note that the items with different indices are considered different even if they have the same deliciousness value so uh, let's check out the examples uh, to get clear understanding of the problem so we will be given an array uh, which represents the deliciousness of a given meal and the array uh, will have different uh, this value for different food items so we need to make uh, uh, we need to consider different values from this array and consider a pair at any time and check if their sum of their <coughs> sum of their value is equal to a power of 2 so if that is true then you count that as a good meal so let's check the examples here so we have 1 3 5 7 9 so 1 2 so we have 5 food items so we need to consider a pair such that their value sum of their value is equal to a power of 2 so if you take 1 and 3 as a pair their value is 4 so 4 is a power of 2 so 2 power 2 is equal to 4 so that is a good mean and if you consider 1 comma 5 1 plus 5 is 6 that is not a power of 2 and 3 plus 5 is 8 and that is again power of 2 so 2 power 3 8 so that is a good mean and again uh, 5 plus 7 12 is not, not a power of 2 and 9 plus 7 16 is a power of 2 so 2 power uh, 4 so there are total of uh, 4 such pairs so 1 3 1 7 which is 8 3 5 8 and 7 9 16 so there are 4 uh, pairs of uh, good meals so answer will be 4 then the sec second example we have uh, as you can see we have duplicate values here so we have 3 1s 3 3s and 1 7 so uh, there are a total of 15 uh, pairs which can be made out of these given values so 15 pairs of good meals so if you see all these uh, 1 plus 3 is equal to uh, 4 so which is power of 2 so we have 3 here and 3 here so this will be uh, if you consider a combination of all these items this will be 3 into 3 so total 9 uh, same way uh, 1 plus 7 equal to 8 which is again power of 2 so again 3 here you have 3 so uh, 9 plus 9 plus 3 9 plus 3 uh, 12 meals then and then we have uh, three ways here so we can consider 1 comma 1 which is equal to 2 power of 2 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 so which is a power of 2 so within these three we can make uh, uh, three combinations and then again we have three threes here this way uh, we cannot make power of 2 so this we have 9 pairs plus uh, 1 combined with 7 have another 3 pairs so 12 pairs plus we have 3 combinations within 1 so that will be another 3 so total 15 ways ok so coming to the constraints we have uh, the array length can be from 1 to 10 power 5 so this is a big value and the deliciousness value can be from 0 till 2 power 20 it can be 0 and the max value can be 2 power 20 ok so that's for the problem description so how can we approach this problem so what we need to do is uh, from the given array we need to consider a pairs such that they are good meals so that their power of their sum of value is power of 2 and consider all such pairs and return the uh, return final answer so if we the straightforward approach can be take the array take every value from the array check if uh, uh, basically we need to check if it if it is combined with some other value uh, do they form a power of, uh, with a form a value which is power of 2 so take every value and add it and take a combination with every other value I mean check with every other value check if their sum is equal to a power of 2 so that way we can do we can find all such uh, pairs good meals 
and but as you can see the limit here is 10 power 5 so the array length can be 10 power 5 so the approach that we discussed now will be a brute force approach and obviously it will it will time out because it will be o of n square solution we are going to compare every value with every other value from the array so that will be o of n star n so it will be o of n square and that, that is going to time out so can we do better than that can we add a little bit of optimization to this so basically we we cannot do o of n square solution so we need to come up with some approach which can be done in o of n log n r if, if we can do it o of n will be even better so let's discuss with an example let's take simple example So if we have an example like this, 1, 3, so the number of base will be 1. Let's say we have 1, 1, 3, comma 3. So here we have uh, 2 1s here, so 2 3s here. So basically it is like we need to find all the combinations. We have 2 numbers here and 2 numbers here. So the total combination will be 2 into 2, 4. It will be 4 combinations. And let's say we have Four values like this here we need to find total number of combinations among uh, these values so this will be the total number of combinations as you know it will be the formula for that total number of combinations is uh, ncr right as you remember it will be ncr so n here is one four n here is four we have four values and r here is two that means we need to consider two values from this set at a given point of time so this will be 4c2 so as you know the formula for ncr will be uh, if r is equal to 2 ncr will be uh, n into n minus 1 by 2 when r is equal to 2 ncr formula will be n into n minus 1 by 2 so here the value will be 4 into 3 by 2 so there will be six combinations Basically, if you take the first one, you can combine with the three ones here. If you take the, uh, so you will get three or three pay good meals. Then if you take second one, you can combine with next two ones here. So it will be three plus two, five. If you take third one, you can combine with the last one. So it will be one uh, good meal. So it will be total six. So similarly, if you have zero and if you have values like two, four, eight, so these are already power of 2 so you don't you cannot mix with any other thing like 4 plus 2 equals 6 6 is not a power of 2 8 plus 4 equals 12 it is not a power of 2 but when you have a number which is already power of 2 you need to combine that with 0 that means you should have 0 in our list in that case you can make uh, good meals and at the same time you can combine 0 with every other value which is a power of 2 but but you cannot uh, combine uh, other values which are uh, power of 2 that means you cannot combine 4 and 2 to make power of 2 you cannot combine 8 and 4 to make a power of 2 but 0 can, can be combined with every other value which is power of 2 so you can get multiple uh, good good meals so that is one thing that we need to keep in mind so these are the uh, basically we need to handle when there are multiple values of the same uh, number that case we need to handle and we need to handle a case for 0 and we need to handle a case where the number is already a power of 2 so if you can if you take care of these values these cases i think we should be able to uh, do our uh, problem in o of approximately o of n or time complexity so we don't have to do uh, the o of n square solution we don't have to check every value against every other value so what we are going to do is First, we need to uh, count every value. That means we need to maintain a frequency map for every value. That way, you know how many value, how many uh, values are there for a particular uh, given index. So that way, uh, when you have a value x, you need to find its corresponding pair, right? So let's say you have value one. So its corresponding pair will be three, which can make a power of two. 
same way its corresponding pair can be 7 which can make a value of 8 which is again power of 2 that way when you have a value x you need to find y such that x plus y equal to the power of 2 so that's what we are going to do so that we don't have to, uh, so that we can avoid o of n square uh, approach so we need to maintain frequency map then we go through the frequency map and for every key value we find its corresponding pair then check how many uh, of how many uh, good meals we can make using those that pair particular pair let's check the source code that will clear uh, your doubts to some extent let's look at both c++ and java yeah so so the final result can be more than uh, max int so we need to do a modulus with uh, 10 power 7 so which we can define in c++ like this 1 e power 9 plus 7 this will give us 10 power 7 value 10 power 9 plus 7 so basically we take map first so this will maintain frequency count for every value so we go through the entire array here then check for every value what is its frequency then we calculate result because result can can be more than integer so we take long value but we every time we need to do modulus so that finally we return an integer value then we take uh, listed array that means let's say let's say we have 1 3 7 8 when you are checking uh, value 1 and you are trying to find its corresponding pair so you find that 3 is a pair for 1 7 is a pair for 1 so next time when you are checking for 3 1 is a pair for 3 but you cannot count it again because you have already counted you have already uh, accounted uh, the result for 1 comma 3 pair 1 comma 7 pair so so to avoid this counting twice we maintain a visited array so the visited array here uh, serves that purpose so we maintain visited array so for any given uh, pair of integers we check if it is already visited or not if it is already counted or not so then in our map frequency map we iterate we iterate through every value and for every value we check its corresponding pair and try to find the number of ways that are possible for a good meals so as we discussed zero we are going to pair with every other value which is a power of two so we don't have to uh, count good meals with zero value separately the, the value with zero will be counted as part of the values which are already a power of uh, two so we ignore that value that's why this condition so if the value is not equal to zero then we proceed then we need to uh, basically find what is the nearest number which is a power of two so let's say we have number three so the, the nearest value which is bigger than this value which is a power of two is four so this power of two is nothing but it will give us the power value which is uh, for a given number the power value which is near which is the nearest uh, two power and number two is initial uh, we will initialize number two with zero if the number one is already so number one is uh, first number is the current number from our map and number two will be we will be calculating using the power formula so number two we are initializing to zero to handle the case where number one is already a power of two so this condition checks if uh, to know if a number is power of two or not you just have to do uh, bitwise and with its uh, number minus one so if you do it will give you zero so if it gives zero that means it is a power of two so if it is a power of if it is not a power of two then we are going we are going to find its corresponding pair if it is power of two its pair value will be zero already so if the number is not a power of two then we need to find its corresponding pair so for that we take log value for the given number so that will give us what is the uh, let's say if, if you have 3 value 3 log 3 will give you 1 because 2 power 1 equal to uh, 2 that is the nearest uh, this, this is going to give you the floor value not the seal value so if you have 3 it will give you 1 if you have 5 it will give you 2 so the next biggest integer which is power of 2 we will get by adding 1 
so the power of 2 will be uh, for 3 it will be 2 power 2 4 so the power will be 2 here so that way we will calculate the nearest uh, integer which is the power of 2 then the difference that we are going to get so the number 2 will be nothing but power of 2 comma power of 2 so if let's say if your number is number 1 is 3 then this will be 4 minus 3 equal to 1 so your number 2 will be 1 so its corresponding pair will be 1 then once we find its pair we need to check if it is already visited if we have already considered this corresponding pair so 1 comma 3 or 3 comma 1 anything 1 comma 3 so if your number 1 is 3 it will be number 2 will be 1 so 3 comma 1 if it is visited or not so if it is false then we are going to consider this if it is already visited we just ignore then we make the uh, current pair as visited then we need to calculate the result i mean the number of ways we can form good meals using these two values so number two the frequency of number two will be it is already present in map because we have already calculated here as part of pre-processing that will give you frequency of number two then here iterator first is the number iterator second is the frequency of the corresponding number so iterator second will give you the frequency of number one so your total combinations will be as we have seen it will be the multiplication of both that will give you the total number of ways in case if the number 2 is 0 that means we are uh, currently if the number 2 is 0 number 1 will be obviously a power of 2 already so in that case we need to consider the number of ways in which we can use the current value let's say we have this way in this case we can pair 2 with 0 as well as we can pair 2 with itself too. so if there are multiple values of the same number which is power of 2 then we need to consider those uh, we need to consider the number of ways in which we can pair those two values so that's what we are calculating here so if the number 2 is 0 that means the current number 1 is number 1 is already a power of 2 so we need to find how many ways we can use the same number and make a good meal so that will give you as we discussed ncr so which is here in this case nc2 so n into n minus 1 by 2 so that will be this one n minus 1 by 2 because this is the this is the frequency of number 1 number 1 number 2 is 0 so we need to add that result to our result then finally we need to every time we need to make sure that we mod we do modulus with mod because the value can go beyond integer and in that case we may end up with some overflows so just make sure that we do modulus every time then finally we return our result so uh, this way we don't have to uh, check every number with every other number in the array so this way we can avoid the O of n square solution by using frequency map as well as by finding the pair for every number using power and log functions so let's check how it works let's check it example test cases yeah so it works fine let's look at java solution as well there will be a slight difference with respect to how we use map and uh, visited array so again we use a map for checking the frequency so for every value in the deliciousness we uh, find its frequency so in java in c++ you can directly use indexing so you can count the uh, values but in java you need to use the function get or default so if the value is not present in the map we need to get a default value so if you directly call mp.get it is going to give you exception if the value is not present in the map so what we are going to do is we use get or default so either get the value if it is present in the map if it is not present get the default value of zero so then we are going to then we add that we add one to that value and again we update the map with the new value so this way it will count all the values and it their frequencies now again uh, similar to c++ we use a result array, result variable then here we are going to use in java map is a little bit complex to use uh, with a pair because we need to store map uh, with with a key which is having two integers so here we can use a set set value set here with a string I will show you how we can use string here so we use a set and we maintain values in the set then we iterate through the map entries here this is how we do in Java 
nav dot entry with integer integer here then in reset this will give you all the values from the map one by one in it field so this it will will give you the get key and get value will give you a corresponding uh, key and values from the current entry so similar uh, same way as c++ we check if it is not equal to zero then we calculate power of two for the current number number two we initialize to zero number one will be the get key here and again we check if the number is not a multiple of not a power of two already if not a power of two then we need to we need to calculate its corresponding pair number two so again we use in java we can use math dot we don't have log two function direct function in java so, so the log function will give you log 10 so so what we are doing here is instead of calculating log two we are di directly calculating using log 10 function so log n to the base 2 will give you log n it is like a mathematical formula log n to the base 10 by log n to the base 2 so that will give you uh, log log to the base 2 so we, cal we calculate to log number 1 divided by log 2 then as seen in this we just add 1 to it to get the next uh, closest integer which is the power of 2 then number 2 we calculate uh, using power and then minus the number 1 now we got the two numbers number two and number one then we take the value get value so this is uh, this will give you the frequency of the number one then if visited doesn't contain number one and number two so how we are maintaining visited array here is so number one comma number two we keep in a visited uh, set our set so if you don't add a comma here let's say we have one comma three one and three has two numbers so if you don't add a comma in between 1 and 3 uh, string will become 13 so if you have some other number with 13 that will give conflict so we need to add uh, i mean let's say you have number 11 comma 13 so if you have so if you add 11 13 as a direct string to the set this will conflict with if you have two more numbers like 1 comma 113 or 111 comma 3 for all these uh, numbers if you just combine these two values you will get the same number same string so to avoid that we add a comma in between so that uh, we don't miss out on these conflicts so that's how we can maintain the visited array So if it doesn't contain number one plus uh, number two, then we add that corresponding string to listed array. Then same similar to C plus plus, we calculate our number of ways. So this will give you again. We need to check get our default. If it is not present, it will return zero. So the number of ways will be zero. So otherwise, it will multiply with the count, which is frequency of number one. Then again, if number two is zero, we need to check how many ways we can arrange the same number so that we can get good meals. So that will give you count n star n minus 1 by 2 and then finally you do modulus with result so modulus we have defined here similar to c++ and then finally result, return result here in c++ unlike c++ we need to explicitly type cast this value because to return integer because this is a long so otherwise java will give you a warnings so let's run and check so it works fine so let's submit yeah 77 milliseconds and faster than 50 percent of submission let's submit c code c plus plus as well Yeah, 488 milliseconds and faster than 80 percent of c++ submissions let's look at the time complexity as we have already discussed this is a close to o of n solution because we are processing array only once and again we are processing the map only once but there is an additional complexity for calculating log and power as you can see the maximum power that we are going to use here is uh, the power of 
2 power 20. So the maximum power value will be 20 here. So the complexity of power function will be log 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 of the maximum power. So the maximum power is 20. So log of 20. So it's approximately uh, equal to one point something. So which is negligible compared to n. So the overall time complexity will be in the order of o of n if you ignore the time time complexity for power and log, which is negligible here. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.